Hey guys, I'm Hillary. And I'm Cameron. And we're here to show off our new Fantastic Beasts, The Crimes of Grindelwald figures. We have so much in this wave right now. We have a lot of pop. We have some rock candy. I'm going to start with this chupacabra. <laughs> it's a great place to start. <laughs> Look at this thing. This is what I'm going to say So that's the whole what a chupacabra time. looks like. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at that thing. <laughs> it's like a little reptile guy. It's got six legs. I love old, it. old bulging eyes. Ooh, it kind of has like a spider mouth. It kind of does have a spider, but it's cute. Hot Topic has an exclusive where his mouth is open. If you would like that in your life. Shrieking at you. Um, if you started with a creature, I'm going to start with a creature too. Yep. We have the Matagot right here. Matago? Matagot? I don't know yet. I guess well, we wouldn't know until we... Until we find the, the beast. The beast. All oh. right, so it has a glow-in-the-dark component <laughs> to it. It is just... Screaming. It's screaming. It almost looks like a bat, gargoyle, cat kind of combo with... It's like a hairless cat. I have Grindelwald himself. Look at that eye. Dead eye. <laughs> Here's Grindelwald himself. I don't like Grindelwald. Yeah, you're not supposed to though, right? His shoes are so shiny, that means he's evil. Yeah, that's that's typically how you can tell. Right, I'll put him by the chupacabra. I have a young Albus Dumbledore over here, Heck which is yeah. awesome. I love Anyone Dumbledore. Anyone has an Albus Dumbledore collection, this is an essential. And while you're oh, unboxing that Dumbledore, I will unbox young Dumbledore the rock candy. He has a very, I want to say, smart outfit on. An all one color three piece suit. He's got his wand, nice beard detail on there. Young Dumbledore looking looking real nice. There is even more detail in the rock candy figure. I'm very jealous of this coat and I like it. He has sensible shoes. They're not shiny or evil no, at all. No, you can tell. <laughs> Trust this man. Yeah, let's get right into the newts. Newts. So here's the newt scamander pop. This is the general release. You can find it anywhere pops are sold. And I have the Michael's exclusive. So here you have newt standard in his uh, regular outfit with a wand out and ready. So that's kind of the regular one you should be able to find everywhere. And I have the Michael's version of Newt Scamander and he's in his regular garb, but he's holding a postcard. Very mysterious. Intriguing. Intriguing. There's also a Barnes & Noble exclusive where Newt Scamander is coming out of his suitcase, what? which is really cool. Wow. I hope I can get my hands on that oh. one. And then we also have the Newt Scamander rock candy. It should be noted that this one comes with a stand, so don't throw that out when you're unboxing it, but it is the same outfit in greater detail. He's also got a suitcase. Who knows what's in there at this point? Wand out and some nice little like wind action on his overcoat right there. Also so, sensible shoes, not shiny. Once again, you can trust him. <laughs> Shall we get into the beasties? Let's get into the beasties. So I have Pickett, who is Newt Scamander's best friend, I would say. Yes. This in is a world. big ticket compared to the Newt Pop, but it's kind of fun <laughs> to see all of his details. I can't believe that that's a pop. I that's know, really right? Cool. It's so cool. It's kind of like uh -huh. how we had the SDCC exclusive one a couple years back. There was the little added and it like kind of hooked onto it. It kind of you could put, but this one you can just put on your shoulder, you can put it on your desk. Check this out. I'm Newt now. It's me, Newt, saying my classic catchphrase. It's me, Newt. <laughs> and then we also have the Thestral, which is I'm gonna. This one just needs to be taken out of the box. It's got a lot of details. If you uh, aren't familiar with the Thestral, it's kind of this like all black winged skeletal horse with like a beak. There's a lot of detail on the bone. It's just a fun pop for being so nefarious looking. And I have Zowu. There's a lot going on in wow. this pop. It's kind of like like the body of a tiger, kind of. But, but the but the feet of a bird and these great fangs. It kind of reminds mm. me of like what a chimera would be. Let's get into the next set of beasts. I'll, I'll start out with, with my main man, Flooper, over here. <laughs> oh, this one is flocked. Yeah, that's a Coles exclusive. So this is the Coles exclusive flocked Flooper. Flo flocked Flooper. Flocked Flooper. Oh, wow, this is a beautiful bird. A nice, uh, like almost gradient, a magenta to a purple. And, then and teal? The, these teal details on the tail and on these like top feathers right here. It's a really a nice pretty bright pop. yellow beak. This is a really pretty pop. And the head Ooh, swivels. Look at the that. head swivels. We just announced this pop. We have Nagini. If any of these pops is endowed with a charm spell, it's got to be this one because as soon as you pick it up, you can't put it down. <laughs> it's got a lot of really great scaling detail on there. It's got bright yellow eyes and it's got this really cool uh, pattern on the back with these like O rings. So a lot of a lot of cool detail on here. Um, if you have a Voldemort pop, you might as well put it right next to that. Yeah, you definitely have to have Nagini next so to Voldemort. Nagini Maybe put Nagini next to your basilisks. Here is where I really want to, I need the to The main get event. In. Yes, the it's, main event. We got baby Niffs. We got baby Niffs. It's a baby Niffler party right now. Oh they come in two packs because you don't just want one baby Niffler. 
you gotta at least have You have two. to have several crawling around. So you have the two that are part of the main line. Yes, I do. And I have the box lunch exclusive. Now they are different in terms of their uh, coloring. Everything is right in the world as long as I have a baby Niffler in my hand. <laughs> all, I need, all I need in this life of sin is me and my baby Nifflers. Look at Niffler's butt. It's really cute. <laughs> What's really cute too is just how their feet kind of splay out a little bit <laughs> and like they're just just ready to steal, but they don't know how yet because they're just babies. They're just little Ooh. babies. And if you're thinking, that's cute, but like, how do I get my regular Niffler fix? You but know? do I need a Niffler that could potentially be life size? Maybe. Well, Target's got a you covered. Inch Niffler pop. Oh my gosh. Woo! Oh, this Look just feels right. Look at that. <laughs> Look at how just giant the head is, these giant <laughs> eyes. You actually can see the, the time on the little pocket watch that he's stealing, or it she is stealing. It has really great detail too. There's clear plastic on top of the watch, so it really looks like a pocket watch. Yep. The chain is kind of going into his little Niffler pouch. <laughs> Look at the little feet. It's so cute. <laughs> Here, hold it. But it's so great because it is kind of like <laughs> about the size of, a, of what you would imagine a regular Niffler would be. Mm -hmm. um, so you can just put it right on your desk, maybe. Not too close to your treasures, but near them. The head does swivel too, so. So you can like, like look behind it's it. It's like, <laughs> the coast is clear. <laughs> so this is the Target exclusive 10 inch Niffler Pop. All these should be available now wherever pops are sold. There are exclusives at places like Box Lunch, Target, Hot Topic, Kohl's, and more. Check out our blog on Funko.com for more information. And uh, comment below and let us know which, which beast is your favorite. Um, thank you guys for tuning into the unboxing video and don't forget to keep popping. Thanks guys. So here I have Nagini. Uh, this is later on Voldemort's right hand snake. Against snake. S <laughs> you, can't, you can't say hand snake. <laughs>